For those of you that watched our last video, you understand this picture and the conundrum that we were in. This sure is an awful lot of white, but that project, that issue had to wait a few days because our kitchen cabinets came in. We ordered raw cabinets and I believe the species of wood was birch. So Piper and I got busy staining. Um, we used a log oil. And for this, uh, we actually put the stain in a squirt bottle and uh, squirted it on and spread it around with a rag. We felt that was far easier for the application of this and uh, we thought it turned out pretty good. To stain the doors to the cabinets front and back, Piper and I had to take all of the door hardware off and the hinges. We stored them in this white five gallon bucket. Here I am putting them in the proper hole and Piper is coming behind me with her tool and reattaching and reapplying them. Now back to too much white and all of those white doors, we decided to go with black. Brian here is doing the garage door and you will notice he will do um, like a east-west and then a north-south pattern with the spray gun. He does that to provide even coverage and that's important anytime that you're working with dark colors to prevent holidays. Again, holidays are where you can see through because the coverage is too thin.
a before picture of the front entrance door all white. And then here is an after picture. It really makes it punch and stick out and we were happy with it. Brian and I are working on creating the work triangle, laying out the location of the island and making sure that there would be enough space between the sink and the dishwasher or um, the fridge and the oven should the doors be open. Put your foot behind the cabinet, you can kind of pull it as yeah. 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 Ah. Yeah. Now, you get to come over here and help me out because I need a person who is muy flaco. Mostly it's just the side there. Yeah, that side's as tight to the edge as you can. And then, since you did such a good job, you get to come over here to the other side and repeat it. Here, Brian is drilling in the hold downs for the island.
we decided to do raw butcher block for our countertops and we are applying boiled linseed oil to the top and just rubbing it in with rags. While Piper finishes the underside of the island, Brian and I get started rubbing the linseed oil into the other parts of the butcher block. The house is getting closer and closer to being done. Thanks for watching.